heading into the free dance. Lang and Chernyshev, as expected, in the lead. Another American team, Belbin and Augusto, right behind. Then the Canadians, Wing and Low, ahead of the other American team, Hondra and Sinek. Kenneth Belbin and Benjamin Agosto, USA. So here we go, the ice dance. Gold medal on the line. Tanith Belbin, the 17-year-old, originally from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, and Benjamin Augusto, 20 years of age, from Skokie Valley, Illinois, just outside of Chicago, in second place after the original dance. they are in the circular footwork pattern as they turn back to back. So many teams aren't capable of this. Susie, this is a team that has captured the silver medal at the U.S. Championships the past two seasons, but they were not able to go to the Olympic Games because Tanith is a Canadian citizen. She is still going through the U.S. citizenship process. And you would think that would discourage some teams from staying together, but they're in for the long haul. They will be going to the Worlds, and that excites them just as much as the Olympics would have. World Championships fast approaching. We'll have them here on ABC Sports from Nagano. season has been a comeback one for them of sorts because it was in June when Tanith hit her head on the ice while working on a new lift for their original dance. She suffered a concussion, a minor skull fracture. She was off the ice for about three weeks and when she came back she had a practice with a helmet. Well, she's quite a determined young lady when I had talked to her and Ben about it. It was like a no big deal sort of thing. They really worked through it quite well. She is a former pair skater, so she's used to the dangers that that discipline brings. Started out as an ice dancer, but when she was 10 years old, she lost her partner and then went to Paris for a while before she got together with Benjamin. Difficult low hydroblading move. He performs that on one foot. The balance and security between them, very important. footwork must move from corner to corner. Both of them have equal difficulty. Oftentimes you'll see skaters doing very simple turns. Their, theirs require a lot of various direction changes. Very good. Well, yet another great performance from Belvin Augusto, a wonderfully choreographed piece by Igor Spilbon, and they perform it so well. This was their first year on the Senior Grand Prix circuit, and they skated pretty well against some strong fields. They came in fifth at Skate America, sixth at Trophy La Ligue, and they're in a great position here. 
Both Ben and Tanith are so strong here. He's in low sit spin position, and then they break into one of the required elements, a dance spin. Very well centered. But this lift, a change of direction, he's on an inside edge curve, changes to an outside edge. Very tricky connection. That takes a lot of balance and great partnering. And here, a cartwheel lift that segues right into the dance spin, a great way of combining elements. Take a look at the judges. It's a panel of nine working this event. And by the way, the Canadian judge here is Gene Semp, who was the judge who blew the whistle at the Nagano Olympics on the block judging that took place in that event back in 1998. She was suspended for a while, but is back and working ISU events. And Terry, there are deductions in the free dance. The biggest hit would come if you omit one of the required elements, the five to seven lifts, the footwork sequences, or the dance spins. Five tenths deduction. And there will be two sets of marks, as always. The first for technical merit, and there they are, the low to mid fives, up to 5.5 from the Japanese judge. Well, I would say the 5.5 is very accurate. A lot of difficulty in this program. And the presentation marks, again, mid fives. 5.5s across the board, except for a 5.6 from the judge from Japan. Tanith Belbin, Benjamin Augusto, trying to stand on the podium here in Jeonju.